Okay. Hello. Uh, today we're going to be reading about uh, sedimentary rocks, and we've got three big idea key questions. Here they are. How do sedimentary rocks form? What are the three major types of sedimentary rocks? And how are sedimentary rocks used? Uh, sometimes I read these My Planet Diaries to you. Um, I'm going to skip over that today and go straight into the reading. Uh, but those are interesting to read, and I encourage you to read those on your own. So here we go. How do sedimentary rocks form? The banks of a cool stream may be made up of tiny sand grains, mud, and pebbles. Shells, leaves, and even bones may also be mixed in. All of these particles are examples of sediment. Sediment is small, solid pieces of material that come from rocks or living things. Sedimentary rocks form when sediment is deposited by water and wind, as shown in Figure 1. Most sedimentary rocks are formed through a sequence of processes. So this big idea uh, being answered here. How do sedimentary rocks form? They form through weathering, erosion, deposition, compaction, and sedimentation. It should be depositation or depositing. Okay. All right. So let's go back. Let's go down to here. Deposition. Water can carry sediment to a lake or ocean. Here, the material is deposited in layers as it sinks to the bottom. Deposition is the process by which sediment settles out of the water or when carrying it. Weather and erosion. This happens first. Weathering and erosion. Rocks and earth's surface is constantly broken up by weathering, the effects of freezing and thawing, plant roots and acid, and other forces on rock. After the rock is broken up, the fragments are carried away as a result of erosion, the process by which running water, wind, or ice carry away bits of broken up rock. Compaction. Thick layers of sediments build up gradually over millions of years. The weight of new layers can squeeze older sediments tightly together. The process that presses sediments together is compaction. Sedimentation. While compaction is taking place, some minerals in the rock slowly dissolve in the water. Sedimentation is the process in which dissolved minerals crystallize and glue particles of sediments together. Figure 1. How sedimentary rocks form. Sedimentary rocks form through a series of processes over millions of years. Sequence. Put the terms listed in the word bank in the proper sequence to show how mountains can change into sedimentary rock. Okay, so here we go. You do weather and erosion, compaction, I'm sorry, weather and erosions first, then deposition, compaction, and then the last one would be sedimentation. So here we go one more time. Weather and erosion, deposition, compaction, sedimentation. What are the three major types of sedimentary rocks? Geologists classify sedimentary rocks according to the types of sediments that make up the rock. The three major groups of sedimentary rocks are clastic rocks, organic rocks, and chemical rocks. Different processes form each of these types of rocks. Clastic rocks. Most sedimentary rocks are made up of broken pieces of other rocks. A clastic rock is a sedimentary rock formed when rock fragments are squeezed together. The fragments can range in size from clay particles that are too small to be seen without a microscope to two large, heavy boulders. Clastic rocks are grouped by the size of rock fragments or particles of which they are made. Some common clastic rocks, shown in Figure 2, are shale, sandstone, conglomerate, and breccia. Shale forms tiny particles of clay. Water deposits the particles in a thin, flat layers. Sandstone forms from the sand on beaches, the ocean floor, a riverbed, and sand dunes. Most sand particles consist of quartz. Some clastic sedimentary rocks contain fragments that are different sizes. If the fragments have rounded edges, they form conglomerate. Fragments with sharp edges form breccia. So here they are. We have shale, fossils that form that often found in shale tend which tend to split it into flat piece, uh, pieces. Sandstone, many small holes between sand grains allow sandstone to absorb water. Conglomerate, rock fragments break with rounded edges, make up conglomerate. 
and brachia. Rock fragments with sharp edges form brachia. Organic rocks. You may be familiar with the rocks called coal and limestone shown in figure 3. Both are sedimentary rocks, but instead of forming from particles of other rocks, they form from the remains of materials that were once living. Organic rock forms when the remains of plants and animals are deposited in layers. The term organic refers to substances that were once part of living things or made by living things. Coal forms from the remains of swamp plants buried in water. As layer upon layer of plant remains build up, the weight of the layers squeeze the decaying plants together. Over millions of years, they slowly change into coal. Limestone forms in the oceans where many living things, such as coal, clams, and oysters, have hard shells or skeletons made up of calcite. When these animals die, when these ocean animals die, their shells pile up on the ocean floor. Over millions of years, compaction and sedimentation can change the thick sediment into limestone. Okay, so you should be able to hopefully look at the sequence here and put that together. However, I'm not going to read that to you. We're going to skip the apply it and go down to chemical rocks. Limestones can also form when calcite that is dissolved in lakes, seas, or underground water comes out of solution and forms crystals. These kinds of, sand, of limestone is considered a chemical rock. Chemical rock forms when minerals dissolved in a water solution crystallize. Chemical rocks can also form from mineral deposits that are left when seas or lakes evaporate. For example, rock salt is when the mineral halite is made of the mineral halite, which forms by evaporation. How are sedimentary rocks used? People have used sedimentary rocks throughout history for many different purposes, including for tools and building materials. Chert was used to make spearheads by people who lived in Pennsylvania more than 10,000 years ago. Other people also made arrowheads out of flint for thousands of years. Flint is a hard rock, yet it can be shaped to a point. It forms when small particles of silica settle out of water. Sedimentary rock, such as sandstone and limestone, have been used as building material for thousands of years. Both types of stones are soft enough to be cut easily into black or into blocks or slabs. The White House in Washington, D.C. is made of sandstone. Today, builders use sandstone and limestone on the outside buildings of on the outside walls of buildings, such as the building shown in figure four. Limestone also has industrial uses. For example, it is used for making cement and steel. All right, so here it is. Limestone is a popular building material. However, acid rain reacts with the calcite in limestone, damaging buildings made from it. And there it is, the Carnegie Library in Jeffersonville, Indiana. Not, not too far from here. Okay, that is the reading for today. Make sure that you have filled out the notes completely. Thank you for listening. Have a great and wonderful day.